guys. Today is check-in day, which is always exciting because it's the day that we look into the data and measurements and physique and everything to see what changes has happened and how we are improving and uh, what we do next. So the sun is out, which is super nice. I am currently walking down to the contest prep center. I have my shoes, I have the bikini on to do the uh, check-in photos. I did the measurements here this morning, which is waistline and hips. Um, and then I weigh myself, but I, I do that every morning and then I calculate the average weight for the week. Um, so yeah, that's what's up. Okay, so I just got back from my check-in photos. Uh, yeah, as I said, I like to do my uh, check-in photos in uh, at the Contest Prep Center because it's uh, better light lighting and just better circumstances and yeah, just a good environment. So I'm back now and what I will do now is I will go into my profile at the Team Elite Physique. I will... Uh, upload the new check-in, the measurements, the data, the pictures, comments, everything that I have. And later on, I will be heading back down to the Contest Prep Center for a personal check-in with Coach Adam to talk about how the week has been and what we'll do from here. So I'm pretty excited what Adam is going to say about this week's check-in uh, because my waistline is finally getting it back down. I have been having some digestion, digestion issues when I got here. Uh, we're not really sure why, but it's probably because it's a massive change in food sources and environment and just water uh you know the tap water and everything because back home we're islands and our main industry is fish so everything is super fresh it is fresh here too but maybe not just as fresh <laughs> as it is back home so the first week my digestion got kind of off my waistline went, went like sky high um yeah my waistline is finally um decreasing again um which we liked it too so we decreased the calories this last week um and my hips are a little bit down too which does make sense too because i have been gaining some weight uh and of course i gained fat on my legs too or on my hips too so yeah i'm excited for this one All right, that was it. Now I will head over to the gym and get um, and do my first back workout of today. And when I get back, I will um, head down to the contest prep center and see 
What is up with this chicken? Yay! <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. is out we are out and i am heading back down to the contest prep center to have my check-in with coach adam and this will be exciting i have a feeling ah, i have a feeling that something exciting is about to come up <laughs> Hello, Tina. Hey. <laughs> All right, so hey guys, we're gonna do a check-in with Elizabeth. She is now how many weeks into the gaining phase? Is this the check-in for week five? Uh, four. Four for check-in. So yeah. fourth, yeah. Your fourth check-in. So your this is going on your fifth week though, right? This week yes. is the week five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. So. Um, and we're finding out, so we're doing a crazy workout as we talked about. She's here to grow. Tina's here to grow with her. It's like her workout partner back there Yes. <laughs> um, for this crazy growth phase, which is uh, two a day workouts. This was very, very extreme. And this is going to be different for every person. They both feel like they're burnt out now, which was expected at a certain stage. We didn't know when it was going to happen because they're eating heavy, they're sleeping heavy, um, doing everything they need to to recover. Um, but it looks like it's caught up now and we have to listen to the body. So we're going to do this thing called a deload this week. And that deload is basically what it sounds like is they're just not going to work out. But now we need to determine how many days and how to approach that and uh, have them fully recovered so their nervous system isn't fried and they're ready to go again. So now that's, that's what we're doing, figuring it out. Mm -hmm. All right. So as far as your... Um, checking goes. So this week we reduced her calories last week to this week. So um, crazy. Another another good week of progress though. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You gained lean mass and lost inches. Yeah. Yeah. You had a really good week of uh, gaining. So it's called recomp week where you're gaining weight but losing inches. So you're gaining muscle losing inches. So mm -hmm. pretty crazy that you're even able to do that still. But that's the purpose of these crazy workouts. That, yeah. You know, so um, this week the only thing we're doing is we're just going to let your body fully recover. Um, and you know, we have to just figure out how long we want to take off to do that. Now with how hard you've worked out, the justification is going to be anywhere between four days and seven days to take full time off mm -hmm. and just let your body heal, recover, rest, eat still, let your body recover. But, um, seven, yeah, seven's a normal thing. You won't, what lose, do I muscle. Do? You won't lose muscle in seven days. Yeah. Sure? Take you, you'll get, so you'll get, you will get a little bit softer. Um, okay. cause your muscle, so when you, 
work out hard, your body needs, you know, full glycogen loaded muscles to be able to get through the sets, full ATP, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's part of it is having glucose in the muscle. So you yeah. can use it for energy while you work out. That's your muscle energy, right? Right. So when you work out, you, you use some of that and then you force it back in there and your body's like, all right, I'm filled up and ready to go for the next workout. So if you take off a week, you're not always replenishing that glycogen. Your body doesn't need all that glycogen. So mm -hmm. you'll lose some of it. Mm -hmm. um, which will cause mm -hmm. usually a little bit of weight loss because the water that is in mm -hmm. the muscle cell with the glycogen. Um, but, um, and then you'll feel that kind of more squishy because you're not as glycogen loaded. But you won't actually lose muscle. You'll just have less glycogen, less water in the muscle temporarily because you're not needing it. As, right. But it comes back really quickly because as soon as you need it again, your body's like, oh, I better store it again because now we're, we're still using that still. Mm. So, so that, I feel like a jellyfish. You get, in seven days, you won't feel that <laughs> I mean, I'm just a ball of jelly. Like two weeks, you really feel it. But one week, it's like you start feeling it. You'll feel okay. a little bit. But it'll feel like it's, you'll feel fatter because you're not as hard. So you just feel fatter. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's a weird thing. You're just like, you're softer and then you just feel like it's fat, but it's not. Your density is not as much. And it's right. like, but that's it. You don't and we're not getting pumps or anything either. I mean, that's. And you're not sweating as much usually. So you're going to have a little bit more water retentive. And so you'll have like, you just. It's the end look of seven days. Um, you really hit that like max look, like three days in, your like body feels rested, recovered, your glycogen's still there. Yeah. Your inflammation's down, so you're harder, and you look at it, and then at four days later, you're like, damn, I'm squishy, I'm soft, I'm fat. You need to get back in the gym. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think we, well, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna have to take seven days though, because I feel, I feel pretty good, so I don't think it's gonna take that many days but it depends on how long you want to go for the like if we're gonna cut a little bit too yeah i think that so if you have an opportunity right now to cut and yeah. um you know use this as a as an advantage let your muscles recover from the workouts let your nervous system recover from the workouts you're not gonna fire your nervous system from doing cardio so you know you raise your cardio up you do that and we could even just do steps you know for this time um, if you want to do steps and like walk around vegas and and do that and just yeah, stay super active that, but yeah that yeah. would you like yeah but so. Yeah, treadmill would be good, walking around would I be just good. Walk around. So we'll say 60 minutes of cardio or 16,000 steps. Yeah. yeah. Well, how yeah, are you getting more steps than that? You leave she, her for... She has smaller legs. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, we made jokes like that all the time. Because her two steps is like my four steps, right? Yeah, it's yeah, kind, like it kind of, sometimes like when I'm walking, she's just way behind. <laughs> yeah. Is that really I what it is? I can't follow! <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Or you're just, your need is maybe is just higher. Like, I'm the just same maybe just. calories burn though? If your steps are just. You're sitting on the, the computer a lot. Distance. That's an interesting one. You can do it at the mall, That's whatever, because this is a chill easy. week. You know, don't worry about making progress every single day this week. It's about recovering, letting your mind get right. If you need to get out of the gym, it's great. Let your mind clear, yeah. you know? And that's one thing I want to, I think you need to learn on and get better at for longevity is to not be so intense all the time and have your moments of intensity, which you need to do yeah. this. But if you're at 100 all the time, four years in, like you're going to burn yourself out, you know? Yeah. So this would be good for like a mental break. So I would say probably better for you to get steps in. Use this time to like make sure you're motivated in the gym. Like, yeah. And you want to miss it. Like stay hungry. Yeah. So I would say probably best for you guys to do walking outside of here, you know? Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, we'll go see some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Have some fun here in Vegas. You don't get to enjoy it. Let's go. 20K steps. Let's go. All right. Let's see here. So we're going to change your menu around be a little bit less calories because obviously you're not working out. Nothing crazy. We're going to lower the fats, lower the carbs. Yeah, but we did talk about trying to cut a little mm -hmm. bit yeah. during these days too, huh? That's the purpose, so, yeah. Yeah. And that's why I'm lowering the fats so, primarily too. Yeah. So this is going to be a double benefit. But I don't want it to be so low in calories that you are hindering your recovery. No, so yeah, it's a okay. double. So yeah. it's like right, it's low, and you're gonna lose some body fat, but it's not like it's an aggressive diet week. Yeah, it's not. It's a, but you're with you with how high your metabolism. This is gonna probably be an aggressive diet week for you anyway. Yeah. So uh, this should be. You should feel it. But you're still pretty high. You're at 2,700 calories. Okay. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Mine's a, mine's a thousand lower. Her dieting me. heart is 2718. Yeah. Nice. That's why I'm saying you can fit these foods in. You know. Yeah, 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 I help and get no. three stacks of pancakes. Yeah. I get one. All right, so that's the adjustment. Yeah. That's it. All right, guys, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching 
how we do our check-in. The check-in is a big part of it all. It's like each week we do it. And while I'm here, it's so nice because I get to have the in-personal check-in with Coach Adam, which just is just awesome. You know, it works great online, but it just gives that extra edge or something when you can talk, um, like being there in person. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's it for today for this episode i'm currently eating my tilapia rice spinach and pistachio nut a little bit of uh, low calorie dressing with it too um so yeah and in a couple of hours we will be uh, heading over to the lvsc for a second workout of today with the back workout and uh, i will catch you guys on the next episode